correct me if I'm wrong, just in observing what they've signed, it seems like they really value versatility. You hear John Johnson, he can play free safety, he can play in the box. Troy Hill can play inside, can play outside. Walker can do some, some other things. You mentioned you, you view him as more a two-down linebacker. I, is that something you think that this front office and Joe Woods value is versatility um, in the defense of people that they're bringing in? I think you're right. I think the, the biggest thing with, with what the Browns are going to do is they're going to look at this. They're going to say, we know that over the course of, of, of data collection, really digging into what the numbers say, spending more money on your offense and, le- and finding offensive skill players more consistently leads to pr- productive or predictive success than, than spending a lot of money on your defense. Defensive success can be kind of variance related year to year coordinators leave or or a certain player doesn't play as well as they did the year before what i'm getting at is like spending more money on your offense typically yields more predictive results so like they the browns think that hey we spent 136 million of our cap on offense last year we think we're bringing all those guys back they're going to be just as good this year because what we do is so hard to defend and the players we have the roles we fill it's it's predictive that we're going to have a good offense what they're going to probably do over the course of andrew barry's leadership is they're going to spend less on defense and and try to just kind of stop gap with players like walker players like Troy Hill, players like, and I'm even including John Johnson in there because I think John Johnson's going to be a staple, but a guy who ultimately John Johnson's deal is two years. Uh, it, it could be viewed as just a two year, $20 million deal kind of essentially. So they're going to bring in pieces to their defense. They're probably going to have stalwarts that we know over the long core, long haul. Like we know miles has gotten long-term money and we know probably Denzel is next due, but they're going to shuffle in pieces like you said Dave that are going to be more flexible different roles they can fill guys who can come in and do different things for one two one or two years and provide their defense with the right kind of skill set to be diverse they don't want to be pigeonholed into having to play people they don't want to be short in terms of depth because they got that they saw the backfiring of that shortness of depth last year so they're really trying to raise the floor of their defense become average in coverage so that their pass rush can get after the quarterback and and kind of work off of each other, or they might even go spend heavy in the draft on coverage and say, hey, we got this elite coverage so that we can give our guys up front enough time to get home. So I don't think you're going to see the Browns. I could be wrong here because it's trending toward Baker getting big money and Nick is going to get some money too. Like I just think they're always going to spend more money on offense because that's where you can predict more consistently the success that can come for your side, one side of the football defense just as like turnover numbers are kind of fluky you're relying on other people to make mistakes so i think that and a lot of people way smarter than me have, have elaborated on this point much better than i am right now but i just think you're right they're going to get guys who can do different roles for different sets of downs and, and just be able to to be fluid down to down situation to situation week to week and how they game plan for people and i think we'll kind of see that revolving door there a little bit